Hi grade one, today we are going to be looking all around and seeing, hey, if I'm going to make that thing that I'm looking at, what 3D shapes could I use? So these are some of the 3D shapes that we've learned. This is a sphere, rectangular prism, cylinder, cone, and a cube. So if you're going to look at these 3D shapes, which one looks most like a person's head? Well, I would probably use a sphere, even though I think a person's head looks more like, and that's not a sphere, right? Because it's not perfectly round. That's called an ovoid, but that's not one of our choices. So it looks, I would say it looks most like a sphere. A person's arms, oh, look at your arms. Do you think, you know, you have a point on the end? I, I don't think so. So your arms would be most like one of these two. And since your arms are, don't have edges, I would say your arms look more like cylinders. Now let's copy another one. A cylinder at the top and a cylinder at the bottom. And maybe you could put your hand down there and then you would do like little cylinders for your fingers. Could we do all that? Come on, SJ. You get the idea. Now that I've started, I have to give you your fingers. Your arms. Kind of looks like an arm. Kind of way too big. How about a desk? Well, let's look on the next page. A table or a desk. I would use a rectangular prism and your desks have cylinders. You could also use rectangular prisms. I'm going to get rid of these. So the top of your desk or the top of the table, I would use a rectangular prism. So your desk opens up inside. Your, a table would be pretty narrow, right? So let's use that as the top. So the table has to have legs, your desk. See that these are all cylinders. I can stick them under the corners. Ta-da! Table. Or if we're going to make it a desk, we would have a bigger rectangular prism. Go look at the tables around your house. I bet they don't have cylinders as the legs. I'm looking at my table right in front of me. It's got a rectangular prism as the legs. Let's get... And then you would flip it that way. My table has a rectangular prism because it's got edges as the legs. So... If I made a crayon, what two shapes would I need? I would have a cylinder and on top there would be a cone. How about a truck? What are the 3D shapes that you can see in this truck? This is a rectangular prism. The cab is not actually a rectangular prism. This is a cube. Look at the lights. They are also 3D shapes. They're really squished, but these are cylinders, as are the wheels of this truck. Look at this house. Trees are cones. The house is a cube. The top. We didn't even talk about this, I don't think. It's a pyramid. Door. Rectangular prisms. You could make 
You know what? You could always make and, sh and send me a picture of a tower that you've made out of blocks. I'm sure most of you have blocks at home. But today you are going to go look at things and see if you can see what they are made of, which 3D shapes. All the cones you have to color in yellow. All the cubes you have to color in green. All the cylinders you have to color in red. All the rectangular prisms you have to color blue. But notice, do you see a sphere up there? Then you have to leave all the spheres blank. Mandy makes a building from blocks. Circle the blocks she's used to build this, 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 and this. Okay, circle the blocks used in each building. Write the name beside the shape. Well, this is a, I'm going to call it a tower. This is a dumb one. Anyway, for this one, you have to look at it and see how many cylinders, cubes, cones, rectangular prisms, and spheres. Try and build it if you can. This is where we wish we were at school so we could do this together, but alas. If you want to show me, that would be cool. All right, that's it for today.